Hi there, my name is Rian and this is Lesson 17. It is part of the series Drawing Isometric 101. In today's lesson we will be looking at tiles, creating tiles and how to use them. In front of us we see a tile set of um, 10 tiles, which will give you the basis for creating any kind of tile set. So how do we use style sets? Now, in most game engines, there is a algorithm or a program or code that um, lets you paint tile sets. But in Krita, I'm just going to uh, duplicate the tiles and show you how we use the tile sets. So let's control J that um, and put that in the middle. Then let's take, for instance, that end, Control J again, and drag it over here. Then we need to place these at the top. So let's quickly see. We want to place these at the top. And we want to place that one at the front. Okay. Like so. Now you'll see that we've got only one of these tile sets that goes in this direction, but it's easy to duplicate that and flip it horizontally. And that way you've created a new asset that that's going in the, uh, the another direction. Now, if we use that, we can pull it here and let's make sure it's at the top of the layer stack. So there we go. And now you can see that it tiles according to that one. Um, we can use this one. Let's put it at the top of the layer stack. to continue or redirect that path. And you can see how you can build a whole floor or um, terrain using your tile sets. Now this is a very basic template setup. Uh, what I'm going to show you is how you can use this template and draw new kinds of assets from this. Um, to export and then use in your game engine and create paths that's going in all sorts of directions and to expand on your, your terrain. I, I want to delete all of these because we're not going to use those. So let's delete them. Then um, let's start with the basic one. Um, I'm going to duplicate that one bring it forward and now think of this as a template we want to change this into various kinds of other assets so let's duplicate that again put it to the side um, let's put it there and um, No man. Right. Okay. Let's start with three of them. And I'm going to keep it very basic, so we're not going to do realistic stuff with this, but I, I want to show you how you can edit this so that you can create all sorts of other assets. Now, currently, this block assumes that the grass is short. So let's make the grass longer. Now you can leave it like that, or you could outline it, which I'm going to do because I like the kind of outline effect, but you can leave it like that. So that when you put it over this um, terrain asset, 
um, it will merge within that but if I do it without the outlines it's going to basically fade into that one so I'm just gonna outline these quickly then within the um, the tile I want to add a few long grasses so that but we we continue the the effect of long grass tall grass so that's one of them now say for instance we we've got a pond and we can change this one so let's select the green where's my magic wand there we go so let's select the green no we need to select that layer um, and change the color so this various way you can use fill and change the color there or you can change the control u the uh, saturation u saturation so let's try that it's i want a kind of aqua color there we go okay and then I want the top to be slightly different from the, the, the depths of my water. So let's do the control U again. And maybe this time lighten it slightly like so. That's it. And then we want to create ripples so now depending on on the uh, level of detail and realism of your your game this is going to be slightly different so i make it very cartoon like uh, you can do it very realistic um, if that is what you want for your game to give the illusion of translucency. I color pick the, the ground layer and just make the opacity way, way, way lower. Something like that. And then say for instance, you want a solid ground um, tile. They choose that and then again select the magic wand tool, control U and change the color of that to a brown color. I'm going to make it slightly lighter, something like that. Let's change the color of the lines as well. I um, want these lines to be let's make it that color but slightly darker once you've created this this um these assets you can use the same method to expand on all of these assets. So let's use that as an example. Let's bring that forward. And let's do the same. Now instead of instead of uh, making that road so angular, I'm gonna change that a little bit. So I want it more rounded like that. And I want to use that color for my road. Let's change this to transparency lock. So I can paint off my uh, block, off my tile, 
it won't paint with these transparency pixels. Uh, let's color pick this again and let's do some rocks here as well. Not too, don't want to go too wild. Now you, you, you can create this, this asset for this kind of tiles and then duplicate that and create grass that fits with these tiles. So you, you can see how this can expand very, very quickly into a multitude of different tiles. Um, so I'm not going to use short grass in this tile, I'm going to use the long grass. Um, but let's quickly duplicate this first. I just want to finish this here. Control J, T, let's move it over. No, let's move it up. Right, then we are going to do the same thing we did with the previous one. Oh, okay, we need to unlock the transparency. Right, so there you go. And, and you can see how you can expand on this whole idea very, very quickly and create all sorts of different assets. You can keep the roads angular, you can make them round. I just wanted to show you how from this basic set you can create a whole new set of tiles for your game. The other thing you need to, what you could do, now you'll see that mine is very cartoony. You can make more realistic versions of this, so using the same principles, the same method, but only doing it more realistically. Or you could uh, make it um, pixelated, even uh, to the other side of things, where you create the, this same template and make these assets um, pixelated. We will get to pixel art in a different tutorial. This is just to give you the basics and how we can expand on this. Now, my suggestion is use this uh, um, this template i will make this template tile set available in the description so scroll down and click on the link to go to this file where you can um, expand on the tile set the idea is to not to make it perfect but to play around uh, and create new assets be imaginative and change the colors, change how long the grass is, uh, make some of it even dented. You can, you can create a whole array of assets using this uh, template tile set. All right, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I hope this tutorial was helpful. And if you want to see more of this, uh, please let me know. Maybe you want to see more tiles or more ways of doing this. But I think the, the basics of what I've shown you here will go a long way. Um, with this you can create a lot of things in a, in a very short time. See you in the next lesson.